In this video, I will show how to use the Photoshop collage templates from Photography Planet. These collage templates are intended to make it easy for you to share your photos um, in an attractive way online, whether it be through your social networks or um, on your blog or directly with your clients. They are pretty simple to use, especially if you, if you have used clipping masks in the past. If you haven't used clipping masks, um, it's pretty straightforward and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. First, we'll take a look at um, the different layers involved in the collage template. So if you go over here to the layers palette, in each of these collages, you'll see a layer called delete this layer. So this layer um, includes numbers for each of the photos in the collage. So in this case, there are four different photos that will be inserted and each of the blocks here is numbered one through four. So those numbers are actually included in this layer. So if you hide or delete the layer, the numbers will go away. So you wanna leave this layer visible until you've inserted all your photos because it's helpful for knowing which spot you're entering the photo into. Um, but then once you've entered your photos, you'll just simply either hide it or delete it before you save the collage. So then there is a, a layer for the background of each photo. In this case, it's the gray boxes. So you got um, four different photo backgrounds here in this um, in this collage, and then each of those will have a clipping mask layer that is above it, where it says insert photo here. So this says insert photo one here, insert photo two here, insert photo three here, and insert photo four here. So when you insert your photos, you just want to simply select this clipping mask layer and then paste in your photo. And I'll show that in just a minute. And then several of the um, collage templates include some text for branding or for decorative elements. So in this case, it's just simple text layers. So you'll just want to use a type tool to change the name here um, to the name of to your name or to the name of your business or your studio. And same thing with um, with the URL here. Just change it to your URL. And you can also change the colors if you'd like. Or you can leave them the same. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to insert some sample photos here. Let's see, we'll start with this one. So what we want to do is um, select select all. So you can use the uh, keyboard shortcut Control A or Command A, and then copy. And you can use a keyboard shortcut Control C or Command C. So that will copy the photo to your clipboard. And then come over and choose the spot where you want to enter it. I want to enter this in for photo one, so I'm going to select the clipping mask layer that's called insert photo one here, and then I'm going to paste. You can either go to edit, paste, or you can use the keyboard shortcut control V or command V. And then you'll use the free transform tool to move and position the photo. So to do that, you want to go to edit, free transform, or use a the keyboard shortcut control T or command T. And now I'm just going to hold down the shift key and pull in the corner to keep it in perspective and drag it. And then hit enter when you're done. Okay, and we'll move on to the next photo. Select, copy, and paste this in photo four. So I'll select the layer that says insert photo four here, paste it. Use a free transform tool. Get it to the right size. And you can also resize the photos before you copy them if you like. Um, it can make it a little bit easier if you're working with large files and you want to shrink them down a little bit before you paste them in. It'll save a little bit of work with the free transform tool. And 
I want to insert this for photo three. So I select insert photo three here layer, paste it. It's a free transform. And then I have one more. So select copy. Select the insert photo two here layer, paste that. And that's it. And then you would just um, hide this layer with the numbers to remove the numbers from the top of the photo and then you can save and um, we'll take a look at a couple different collages here this one has um, has a, a logo template included so this can be helpful for branding your photos um, I'm not going to go ahead and enter all of the photos in here because it's the same process for each of the collages but if you go here between photo 10 and 11 you can see the, um, the logos between blocks 10 and 11. So I can see here there are several layers here for the logo. There are the two text layers. So you can use a type tool to um, change the name or the colors. And um, then there are three different layers here for shapes in the logo. And you can change the colors of these just by double clicking on the little icon here, the shape icon. And just select the color you want. Okay, so you can customize it however you need there. And let's take a look at a different one. This is a maternity collage. So there's a little decorative element at the top that says baby on board. This is a simple shape layer. So all you need to do to change the color here is click on the shape icon and then select the color that you want to use. And then you'll just enter your photos, change the text as needed. Okay, and we'll look at one more. This one is also a maternity template yes it is okay so it has um, a little decorative overlay that will be on top of your photo in the first slot so at the top of this file you will see um, several different layers here I guess there's six layers for the overlay there are two shape layers for the swirls and then there are four different text layers so you can um, change the color of any of these layers Oops. just by using the type tool for the text select the layer, change the color Okay, and then for the shapes, again, you can change the color just by clicking on the shape icon. All right, so you can change, you can change them all to the same color, change them to different colors, doesn't really matter. Whatever works for your photo. And then it's likely that you'll also want to um, change the size and position of the overlay. For example, if you have um, a portrait and the person's head is up here in the top corner, you're not going to want the words to be laying right on top of it. So to do that, we're going to select the Move tool and then select all the layers of the overlay and then use the Free Transform tool. I'm going to use Keyboard Shortcut Control T and then you can resize it as needed and this is um, 
these are vector shapes and text so you can resize it as large as you want it's not going to lose quality or you can make it smaller and then drag um, drag it to wherever you want in the photo and that's all you have to do to reposition it and so that pretty much covers the different types of collages in this set if you have any questions please contact us thank you for watching